Uh, I came back over to cover up the old Lickety Log Splitter. Uh, if you notice before, I had a tennis ball on the control handle. That's to protect the tarp when I throw it on there. That's a an old canvas tarp. Good heavy one. Uh, I prefer that to cover my log splitter because it doesn't blow as, away as easy as those cheap tarps you buy. I don't have to worry about fastening it down. Anyway, while I come back over, I thought I'd take a few minutes and show you some of the firewood that my Look at your log splitter has split. Uh, this is mostly cherry. There might be some maple in there. Uh, a neighbor of mine built a new house and uh, cut down quite a few trees. And he doesn't burn wood. Won't know if I wanted them. So yeah, I said I'll, I'll take them. I'd be happy to have them. So it's nice to have wonderful neighbors. A couple attachments for my tractor rear blade. Titan Forks, York Rake with the wheels on it, love it. Carry all that I built, it's got a place for chainsaws, couple, two chainsaws to carry around, made that. A couple of rounds that are shorter, they're from my garage, they're uh, 16, 17 inches long. The rest that you see in the background, that's all 22 inches long, and these piles I stack up with the ends here, I make every row 16 feet long and they're probably five feet high so you go 20, 22 inches by 16 by five feet well you're gonna come out to somewhere around 128 cubic feet which is a cord I don't know about all the other terminology here out there you know cord is 128 cubic feet. Take a fraction of it if you want, but half a cord is 64 cubic feet. Anyway, thought I'd show you around here a little bit. I have about 17 rows of the 22. Um, I do have a couple of friends that stop in and they want stuff for a campfire. Uh, I used to sell years ago. I don't, I don't sell it anymore. These are people to stop in and maybe get a pickup truck load or two during the fall for outdoor campfire or a fireplace fire now and then. So I keep the, some short stuff, same length as what I burn in the stove that takes the 16 inch. And this, this pile's pretty dry, mostly cherry. And then I started another row behind it. And I got another row started more rounds. Um, while I'm here to talk about my tractor, it's a Kubota. Got a hitch on the back there for moving the splitters around. Just a little quick story on the Kubota. I had a Coyote CK30 for 14 years and it was a great tractor. I have no complaints. I went through the loader arm cracking issue. Uh, that happened Maybe a lot, of, a lot of guys might not remember, but after a couple years, I had some small cracks develop on mine, and I didn't wait around. I didn't care for the fix they had, so I bought um, the new arms, paid for them out of my own pocket, didn't mind, wanted to just move on. So after that, it was a great tractor. Uh, I'd have to say it has a lot of power for its size. Uh, it had 1,800 hours on it when I got rid of it. It was never back to the dealer. I swapped the arms out myself. Uh, the dealer that I bought it from has since uh, gone out of business. It wasn't because of the the business itself. I think they had a good business. There was some internal problems with the business. I don't want to get into that. But after retiring three years ago, I wanted to get a bigger tractor and one with a cab on it. I started to look at uh, Oh, a couple different brands. I actually test drove a Massey Ferguson. Nice tractor. It was a 35 horsepower. I wanted to stay in that range. Uh, I got checking on Kubota and the L3560 caught my eye. Then it had a special edition, which I thought would be that'd be that'd be what I would want. I test drove one at a dealer. Um, talked about a trade. He was interested. 
Um, I, then I went to another dealership, talked about a trade, and my wife went with me on that trip, and when she found out I wanted the special edition with less bells and whistles, she stepped in and said, if you're going to do this, you're going to get what you want. Don't Don't settle. So, after talking to that dealer, I got a uh, what I considered a better trade deal. It was it was just a better deal than the first one. I don't want to get into specifics, but it was uh, more in line with what I expected. And with that in mind, I upgraded to the L4060. Um, I did get rear work lights, rear defroster, um, rear wiper. The only option I think I didn't get was the air ride seat, and I, I really didn't. I didn't think that was something I needed. I'm not heavy-duty farmer or anything like that. I spend an hours and hours in a seat. I'm perfectly happy with the one that's on there. I did buy a seat cover for it, made, made for a Kubota seat. The other option I upgraded to was the heavy-duty bucket, and I highly recommend that if you're looking. It's a... Uh, substantially different uh, it does it will cost you another uh, I think it was a 600 bucks something like that but well worth it skid steer quick attach but um, that that bucket is uh, really uh, heavy duty very happy with it um, I did get some aftermarket clevis hooks that I put on the inside and I just put uh, couple clevises on there and use a chain pull logs things like that uh, the one other item I'd like to show here I'll show you the seat inside the seat cover love it very very durable fabric and uh, it's great the aftermarket item that I purchased was this step and I don't think I ever did follow up with uh, specialty repairs and custom mods after I ordered it um, uh, what a great addition and I really impressed that there's people out there that can fabricate things like this he did put in if I can get them a couple of LED lights and of course I had to hook them up but the step itself um I've seen comments where people thought they were on the pricey side. To me, it's custom work. And uh, once you go custom, what isn't expensive? I'm thrilled with it. It's, it's great. Great addition. So that's about it. We covered the firewood and Kubota L4060. Oh, one more thing in the tractor. I don't understand why everybody doesn't have two-speed hydro. That's a that's a great thing. That sets Kubota apart in my mind. Um, great, great uh, option on there. So that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Thanks.